Hello darlings, I'm going to be showing you how to get Samantha's hairstyle from Bewitched. You're going to separate the top section of your hair and pin that up. I just wanted to thank you all for 100 subscribers and for all the lovely feedback on my latest video. Thank you all so much. So let's get straight into the hairstyle. Firstly, you're going to thoroughly dampen all over your hair and you're going to be making large pink curls and these are going to be stand up. Ideally, hot rollers would be best for this hairstyle, but since I don't have any, um, I'm just showing you that you can do it with just bobby pins. So we're just going to be creating three to four rows that go right around the whole head and the top section is the largest pin curls and as they go down, the pin curls are smaller. Here are a few pictures of Samantha's hair set so you can kind of see the technique that I'm going for here. Once I've completed one side of my head, then I'm going to move on to the other side and I spray as I go because otherwise my hair just dries too quickly. So just spray your sections thoroughly and make sure the ends are really thoroughly drenched as well so that the set really holds. Now to ensure your curls don't fall out, you can put a bobby pin in the front of the curl and the back so it doesn't fall out overnight. And this is what your whole head should look like and at the back, at the top, you're going to have two curls that are slightly higher that it's going to kind of form like a mohawk of curls on top of your head. And then just moving section by section, you're going to roll the curls in the width of your hand all the way up to the top of your head and the curls are going to be facing back. And you're going to be pinning two bobby pins in either side of that roll at the top of your head to make sure that it doesn't fall out. Honestly, because I couldn't see the entire time, it was actually pretty difficult. So if you have like another clip, just clip away your hair because I was just a little bit stupid and didn't think about that. <laughs> and once you finish curling your hair, now you're going to keep that in for 8 to 10 hours overnight to set. It's the next day and I wore a headscarf overnight so that my curls wouldn't fall out. And now we're just going to take out all of the curls. On the lower section, we're just going to keep the top for later. Run your hands through your curls and then give them a good brush. Now, Samantha Stevens' head generally is curled under. She sometimes has it curled outwards, but for this look, we're going for an under look. So you're just going to bring your brush all the way down your hair and then brush it over your hands so that it curves under. Once you've curled and sculpted all your curls together, you can then go ahead and spray the heck out of your hair so that it holds. And then I'm gonna go in with a dry shampoo that I made and powder that onto the roots of each side of my head and that will help hold the teasing so it's not on freshly washed hair. Then I'm just gonna go and tease like crazy on both sides of my hair. The idea is to give it a bit of body on the sides so that the top is not the only full part of my hairstyle. And you're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side of your hair. So the look we're going for with all the teasing is very Doc Emmett Brown from Back to the Future. But honestly, your hair will come down after you brush out the teasing on the very top. And so it's all smooth and underneath is where the teasing gives your hair the body. You can just keep brushing your hair until it is lying the way you want it to before then moving on to the back two curls at the back of your hair which you then brush out powder then tease and then brush into the rest of the curls that you've already brushed out below and then hairspray again to set everything in place and you're just going to keep repeating for all the sections on top of your hair powdering teasing and then brushing it down into the rest of your hair. Making sure not to brush through your tees that you've already created at the root because otherwise that defeats the purpose. Hello hair height. When you have achieved your natural looking mohawk on top of your head, you have one last section to go. So the exact same powder, tees, and then brushing that back into place. Now make sure not to tease the front of it because you are gonna see that and it will look really bad. So now that we have copious amounts of volume on the top of our hair, we're gonna be brushing it 
all the way back and mold it into the rest of the hairstyle. So it's just a lot of fiddling and fussing to get the hair to lie how you want it to, but you just gotta keep working until it looks lovely and somewhat like Samantha's. And don't be afraid to go all out on the hairspray because you just need to set this hairstyle in place, otherwise it's just gonna fall and just, you know, back to your normal part. And now, after far too much fussing, your hairstyle should be ready. <laughs> 